and we are back guys hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit that bell so you get all notifications so how to use an external hard drive with an iPhone I already made this video there's one of them go check it out that might be just all you guys need but there was a lot of questions on the last video and when I say a lot I mean a lot so I'm gonna try to do my best here okay to, to redo the video and be more detailed in my explanation and I'm actually gonna show you guys how to copy and paste it on like a files onto the external hard drive because a lot of people were saying they were having trouble doing that so without any further ado so I'm pretty sure let me say this off the top of the bat everything I'm gonna show you guys here is working with an external hard drive so one of those old-school hard drives the ones with that spin this is not I repeat I'm not with an SSD this is not an SSD this is a normal external hard drive one of the older ones so this is how we're doing it so what you need is the lightning to USB 3 camera adapter from Apple okay the one that allows USB and a power connector so you can give it extra juice so the iPhone I'm using today is the iPhone 12 so I don't know if the iPhone 13 or iPhone 14 maybe changes maybe it gives more juice I don't know and then this this will come into play a little bit later somebody told me to try this and this the Atola USB 3.0 hub this is a power hub for USB so you want to use a hard drive on your phone so you go to the files so most people will just buy this the USB the USB 3 with lightning connector okay so this is what I did in the beginning let me show you guys what I tried so I plugged in a normal brick the normal 20 USB this one here is the 95 or 85 watt USB so I'm gonna try this one by itself without the USB 3 power adapter and see if it works last time when I tried it I used just the 20 watt USB and it did not work that was the whole reason we needed the extra USB the power USB drive so let me plug this in if you guys got a better way to do this put it down in the comments below so you take the power side you put it in the power you take the external hard drive you plug it in now this is my first time using the 80 plus watt USB adapter so let's see if this works if it pops up then I'm gonna be just as stunned as all of you guys because if it does pop up that means all you needed was just more power so using a different brick would solve the issue so we plug it in it's plugged in let's see if anything pops up the light turned on but then it turned off so it's not getting enough power you guys understand this needs more juice so what is the problem solver that's where this comes into play the Atola USB 3.0 drive you can find this on Amazon Atola USB 3.0 power hub so pull this out you get the hub itself you get the power port so this hub like I said is on Amazon you can find one of these hubs they're like they're less than 30 bucks around like I don't know something like that but yeah so this one is the Atola USB 3.0 hub now remember we plugged in the external hard drive we gave it power we even gave it power from an 80 plus watt USB brick and that still didn't work so what do you do you get the Atola USB 3.0 hub let me undo this so let me plug this in any questions we're gonna I'm gonna show you guys how to copy and paste too don't worry we'll get to that so I plug in the USB Atola 
So all this is is a power up, guys, and then it gives the, the external hard drive enough power to power up because the USB brick doesn't give enough. So there you go, we got power, the light turned on, let me turn it off, but that's uh, whatever. So what did I do here? I unplug this, put the external hard drive into one of the powered outlets, and then you plug this into the Apple adapter. Now watch. There you go. My passport. It popped up. Okay? So, this is how you get the external hard drive to work. Now, somebody said they wanted to see me paste photos or whatever. So, you can either do it like this. Let me make a new folder on here. Test. So, I can either literally just go to uh, photos. I can literally go to like, um, let me see, portrait. I can literally just click, hold on to one of these. Why isn't it? There you go. And then go to test and just drop it in there. And that's it. It just copied and pasted. So what I just did there was drag a photo and there it is. It's on there. The picture of the cat. So another way you can do this is um, just go to your photo. You know what I mean? And then click share. And then go to save the files. And then find the drive. So my passport. And then everything's going to pop up here. Where's test? There's test, there's the folder I made, and then just save. And that's it. It's as simple as that, guys. So I don't know why people were having trouble with it. You know what I mean? If, if this isn't working for you, then I don't know what the issue could be. Now, remember, the external hard drive needs to be formatted to be able to work with Apple devices. <clears throat> so what does that mean? If you have an external hard drive that's not popping up and not working, what you want to do, plug it into a PC, <clears throat> and then right-click on the drive click on format and make sure you format it to x fat or x fat 32 or whatever it is you format it to x fat that way that that way the apple device can read the actual hard drive so other than that i don't know what else really to tell you guys that's how easy it is man now i know this is a whole lot of junk to do to get a external hard drive to work but it is what it is now i'm pretty sure with a solid state drive you do not need the power bank. So the only thing is those solid state drives are literally like quadruple the price of hard, hard drives. So like you can get a two terabyte hard drive for like 80 bucks, but a two terabyte SSD will run you literally like 500 bucks, 400 if you're lucky. You know what I mean? So that's the whole reason people want to use the external hard drives. You know what I mean? This is a WD, my passport. So remember, let me go over what we have. You need the lightning to USB 3 camera adapter from Apple. Use the official one. It's the one that comes with a USB spot and it comes with an, a, a power adapter. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure the power, I can unplug the power and it'll still work. So it's just using the, the power hub uh, supply. Yeah. See, so it just popped back up. So all you really need. So you know what? You could probably get the standard lightning to USB uh, 3 without the extra power. But the thing is, though, you might as well get the one with the extra power so you can plug in extra power. Because some little thumb drives and things like that will require extra power. I know it's stupid. We shouldn't be going through this stuff in 2022. But it is what it is, man. So that's it, really, guys. I don't know what else to really show you guys. So the Atola 3.0 hub. USB 3.0 hub, Atola, the Apple Lightning to USB 3 camera adapter, and then get your external hard drive, and that's it. That's all you guys need. So I showed you how to copy a picture. It's as simple as going to the file, going to the photo, clicking share, just uh, clicking save to files, find whatever, uh, uh, find the destination. So click on 
In my case, my passport is the external hard drive and then just save to a location. It's as simple as that. So a lot of people are saying it's grayed out for them. It's not working, it's grayed out. Uh, to be honest guys, I don't know if that's the case with your guys' and it's grayed out. I don't know man, maybe uh, format the external hard drive like I told you guys to XFAT and maybe that'll solve the issue for you guys. Other than that, I don't know what else to say man. Now listen, I am gonna be buying a solid state drive to show you guys how simple and easy it is to use an external hard drive when it's an SSD. Give me some time, I'm working on that. And thank you all for allowing me to hit a thousand subscribers on this channel. This is a long milestone, man. Thank you guys, each and every one of you guys for watching the video. For each and every one of you that hit the like button. You guys have no idea how much this means to me, man. Thank you guys, this is, I'm one step closer to making this an actual like job, you know, and getting paid for, from it. So I just wanna show my appreciation. Thank you guys, and this was the best video that I did. You know, the prior video on how to use an external hard drive with an iPhone. So, I hope you guys like this. I hope I was more detailed in this one. Um, not gonna lie, I've had a hectic week. You know, my cousin passed away, so everything's all over the place. But I'm trying. I'm trying. So thank you guys all for tuning in. Hit that like button if you don't mind, please, and thank you. Subscribe to the channel, because I will be posting on this more consistently. So be on the lookout for that. And if you guys got any questions, put them down in the comments below and I'll try my best to get back to them, man. It's hard, guys, when hundreds of questions are coming at once. So I try to get back to as many as I can. So I just want to know, guys, I see them. Thank you. Be patient. And I'll catch you guys all in the next video, man. So I hope that it, that solves it for you guys, man. How to use an external hard drive with, I'm pretty sure, from the iPhone 7 on until the 12. Now, maybe the 13 and 14, maybe they've changed it. Maybe it gives it more juice. I'm not sure. So take that with a grain of salt. Anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. Again, lightning to USB 3, camera adapter, Atola, USB 3.0 hub. You can find both these on Amazon, man. So it is what it is. Thank you, guys. Peace out. Hit that like button. And I hope I helped you. Thank you for watching. Bye.